Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Passick, the fly fish fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Um, today we'll be tying a spider pattern. Um, I call it my rainbow spider because it uses the, there we go, so you can see it, the Zemperfly micro glint in a rainbow as the main part of the body. Okay, for the tail we'll be using a little bit of uh, this burnt orange floss. Unfortunately it doesn't have a name brand on it, but any of the a burnt orange type floss for the tail. We, it's only a very, very small tail on this. Um, the hook is a Hannock H450BL in a size 12 jig hook. And then for the uh, hot spot head, I'll be using some Zemperfly Classic Waxed in fluorescent red. And then for the spider portion, the, uh, the, the collar, um, I'll be using either, you can either use the hen pheasant skin or you can use a uh, partridge. Today I'll be using a feather from the hen pheasant skin. Okay. So, again, fairly simple pattern. Just take your micro glint, start it a ways back from the behind the eye there, touching wraps to the back, roughly to where the barb would be. Cut off your waist piece. Take a little piece of your floss material, whatever kind you've got. Go back up roughly to where you're gonna, your body is going to stop. I like just getting this stuff just a little wet. Just It helps just keep it under control. Put a wrap. And then again, touching wraps on the way back. So that's about good there. So you see how long that tail is? I don't want that. I want, like I said, a very short tail. So it's, it's only going to be not much past the curve of the hook. Just barely. That's it. Nice and short. <clears throat> it's more for an accent. Okay, now I'm just going to take this and wrap it forward. And I'm going to try to build a bit of a taper. So now I'm going to just make sure all that stuff is, yeah, there we go all nailed down so to build a taper fairly simple stop a little bit short of the back and then come forward again all the way to the where you want to end then go back again all the way but stop short of that last one and then forward again back stop short of that last one and forward again now i'm going to just do one wrap just to smoothen it all out all the way to the back It'll still maintain that taper because you've already built that in, but this will just smoothen out the body. I'm just going to give it a bit more right up front here, almost almost like I'm doing a figure eight because I want to create a, just a little bit of a bulge here for the soft tackle to get forced out on because I want it to I want this to force to f to flare out, right? So um, sometimes you can just do a a, a little bit of a use an, um, a dubbing there and just do that, but it works really well with this micro glint. So um, just do a bit of a whip finish. Don't pull too hard on it because you'll pull it and fray it. So there's my finished body pretty well. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my fluorescent orange I'm just going to tie that on. Where are we? Going to get rid of my waist. And I'm going to put one half hitch into it just to ensure that I don't knock, oops, that I don't knock this uh, thread off while I'm doing the next part here. It's just, just for security. It's all it is. It's not a, necessity. So, so now I'm going to grab my hen pheasant here and I'm going to find myself a nice feather. I like that one right there. It looks pretty good. So and as always with any of these you've got all the the fluff at the end here. Just peel it all off. Okay. You don't have to peel off every last little thing if you don't want to. Um, 
I mean, that back here because you can use that as a grip. But so now I'm just going to measure. It's a little long, so I'm going to just tear that off as well. I don't want these fibers going past the back of my tail. So, so now I'm just going to grab this and just make myself a little tie-in point here. I'm going to find it. So there. So I spread those fibers apart. Now I'm just going to cut this so it's a little triangular tie-in point. I'll lay that on my side because it will get pulled to the top as I tie. See, and then I just pull that back, make sure it's not in the eye. Make sure that's tied down really well. Again, you can do a half hitch, whip finish, whatever. I'm just going to do one or two turn whip finish right there just to ensure it doesn't get knocked off again. Now, it's a spider. You don't want a lot of hackle. So, my leading edge is the edge that can get trapped. It has a tendency of being able to get trapped. My leading edge, or the edge closest to you guys right now. So I'm actually going to peel these fibers right off. I don't want them. Because I only want a very few fibers, right? So I'm just going to peel that off. So now all that's left is that. So now just stroke that back. Put in one wrap right at that bulb. You want it right up against that bulge. Okay. And then another wrap. And even this is borderline too much in the way of, of feather. It's, it's okay, but it's borderline. Like I wouldn't want much more than that. Oh, that slipped on me. So I'm going to let that go. I want to stay with my thread up here if I can. So two, three in behind. Fold my stem back. Two, three, four, five six something like that just to make sure that stem is nicely locked in come in with your scissors carefully nip off that stem um, sometimes with with depending on what kind of uh, what kind of um, material you're using there you can just rip that off you don't have to use your feather your scissor but I don't know if you guys watched my my dabbler video but when I did that with one of my feathers that I had it actually untwisted so because it tore so there are three turn whip finish four turn whip finish make sure that's nice and tight get right tight with your scissor Nip that off any little fray frays just can get rid of kind of hard to see here with the light so now that doesn't look that great because it looks like the feathers are stuck together but that's um, the uh, oils in these skin sometimes can can make it do that so just give it a take your brush and just give it a bit of a give it a bit of a separation that'll just make it it's more for you to make it look better um, it it will it'll look uh, fine in the water but for you just for for tying purposes and stuff there you go that's it that's 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 my jig um, this is, I call this the rainbow, because of the, obviously because of the rainbow micro glint. Um, you, can, you, you can use these in the rivers, you can use these in lakes. I've used them successfully in both. Um, yeah, so they're fairly simple to tie. Just give that a, give that a shot. A um, little bit of head cement or UV resin or whatever crazy glue you like, just to, to seal it off. Just to make sure you don't, it doesn't unwrap on you. Um, hint: If you've got, uh, if you've got any, any of the glue that goes into your your eye there, because it happens sometimes. Take an old feather of whatever kind of feather, and in this case, let's see if I can get it in there. Put the stem through the eye if I can. I'm not sure if I can. It might be too thick of a stem. Yeah, too thick of a stem. Oh, I just cut it back a bit so that part's not there. There, so it goes go through, and then if there's anything in there, you can just you pull that through, and now there's no there's no uh, head cement in your eye. So that is the finished fly. Oh, give that one a shot.
it's a fairly simple fly to tie and uh, it's a pretty successful fly too so um, if you like my tying videos uh, please consider subscribing hit that uh, like button smash the notification bell and uh, we'll see you on the next tying video tie lines everyone